Question 1. What is the initial margin requirement set by the Federal Reserve if an investor purchases stock on margin? 40%, 45%, The answer is 50%. The Federal Reserve has at present set the initial margin requirement at 50%. Stock exchanges and brokerage houses will set a maintenance margin requirement, with maintenance margin being the minimum equity an investor must have for a margin position. Question 2. In case of margin calls, how should the investors deal with the situation? Investors should raise the equity by selling the assets. Investors should buy few assets at the earliest. Investors should raise the equity by depositing cash. Investors should do some investment elsewhere. The answer is 1 and 3. When a stock or portfolio declines a great deal in price, the result will be a margin call. Margin calls indicate that the equity in the account has dropped beneath the margin requirement. Investors will have to increase their equity by either selling assets or depositing cash or securities. Question 3. Identify the individuals who have the authority to represent someone else before IRS. Certified public accountants. Enrolled agents. Financial planners. Attorneys. The answer is 1, 2 and 4. The only individuals who have the authority to represent someone else before the IRS are certified public accountants, attorneys, and enrolled agents. Question 4. What is the punishable fine for criminal fraud for a corporation? $250,000 The answer is $500,000 Criminal fraud is also known as tax evasion, and it is a felony punishable by fines of up to $250,000 for an individual and $500,000 for a corporation. Question 5. A group of people that are joined together for a particular purpose are called Corporation Company Association Partnership The answer is Association An association is a group of people that are joined together for a particular purpose. Question 6. Identify the assets that may be amortized. Furniture. Patents. Copyrights. Goodwill. The answer is 2, 3 and 4. An amortization is used only for intangible assets that have a definite life. Patents and copyrights are common examples of assets that may be amortized. Question 7. Who decides the child support payments? The father of the child. The mother of the child. The child himself. Court. The answer is. Court. Child support payments will be established by the courts, and will be based on a ratio of each parent's income, the percentage of time the child spends with each parent, and the amount of alimony. Question 8. What is a measure of absolute dispersions? Mean. Coefficient of variation. Copyrights. Median. The answer is. Standard deviation. The coefficient of variation is a measure of relative dispersion unlike standard deviation, which is the measure of absolute dispersion, the coefficient of variation can be calculated by dividing the standard deviation by the mean. Question 9. Identify the major composite performance measures. Trainer index. Sharp index. Jensen index. 
Jassy index. The answer is 1, 2 and 3. The major composite performance measures are the trainer index, the sharp index, and the Jensen index. These indices are used to see whether a given stock actually beat the market. Question 10. Which theory strives to understand the relationship between portfolio risk and correlation? Capital market theory. Portfolio theory. Dow theory. Random walk theory. The answer is portfolio theory. Portfolio theory strives to understand the relationship between portfolio risk and correlation. Question 10. Which ratio is the relative measure of the risk-adjusted performance of a portfolio based on market risk? Trainer ratio. Sharp ratio. Jensen ratio. Jassy ratio. The answer is trainer ratio. The trainer ratio, meanwhile, is the relative measure of the risk-adjusted performance of a portfolio based on market risk, and is more appropriate for using on diversified portfolios. Question 12. A series of bonds that have their maturity dates spread out over a period of time are called dollar cost averaging, bond barbells, Dividend reinvestment plans Bond ladders The answer is Bond ladders A bond ladder is a series of bonds that have their maturity dates spread out over a period of time. This reduces interest rate risk and makes cash available more often. Question 13 in which type of strategy, investors buy stocks and keep them because they believe that active management only drives up transaction costs without really contributing to a portfolio? Market timing. Fundamental analysis. Buy and hold. Passive investing. The answer is. Buy and hold. In the investment strategy known as buy and hold, investors buy stocks and keep them because they believe that active management only drives up transaction costs without really contributing to a portfolio, unlike a passive investing strategy, in which asset allocation percentages are maintained by rebalancing the portfolio, the buy and hold strategy does not include periodically rebalancing the portfolio. Question 14. Time deposits with specified dates of maturity are called Certificate of Deposits Commercial Paper Money Market Mutual Funds Treasury Notes The answer is Certificate of Deposits Certificates of Deposit, also known as CDs, are time deposits with specified dates of maturity. A certificate of deposit may be either negotiable or non-negotiable. Question 15 the interest acquired through the U.S. Treasury bills is subjected to which type of tax? Local tax Federal income tax Local tax and state tax both State tax The answer is Federal income tax U.S. Treasury bills are issued by the federal government and are sold in denominations of $1,000 to $1 million and have maturity periods of 3 to 12 months. These Treasury bills are usually sold at a discount. The interest acquired through them is subject to federal income tax, but not state or local tax. Question 16. Identify the kinds of U.S. savings bonds. Series E Series EE Series F Series FF The answer is 1 and 2 
there are a few kinds of U.S. government savings bonds. The Series E bond was established to encourage more saving. It was offered in small denominations, at a discount, and paid no interest. The Series E E bond replaced the Series E, adding a variable rate of interest that allowed investors to benefit from rising interest rates. The interest on E and E E bonds is not taxable until they either reach maturity or are cashed in. Question 17. When does the listed stock option expire? On the Saturday after the third Friday of the expiration month. On the Friday after the third Thursday of the expiration month. On the Saturday after the second Friday of the expiration month. On the last Saturday after the last Friday of the expiration month. The answer is on the Saturday after the third Friday of the expiration month. All listed stock options expire on the Saturday after the third Friday of the expiration month. American stock options may be exercised at any point, though European options can only be exercised at the date of expiration. Question 18. Identify the types of REITS. Equity REITS. Hybrid REITS. Secured REITS Mortgage REITS The answer is 1, 2 and 4 There are three basic types of REITS, equity REITS, which acquire ownership interests in commercial, industrial, and residential properties, mortgage REITS, which lend the funds for construction and mortgages, and hybrid REITS, which are a combination of the other two types. Question 19. Risks that only affect a particular business or industry, and therefore can be avoided through diversification are called Systematic risks Marketability risks Liquidity risks Unsystematic risks The answer is Unsystematic risks Systematic risks affect the entire market and therefore cannot be avoided through diversification. Systematic risk can be determined by beta when calculating risk for a diversified portfolio. Unsystematic risks, then, are those that only affect a particular business or industry, and therefore can be avoided through diversification. Question 20. What is umbrella insurance policy? It is an insurance that protects real and personal property used during the course of business. It is an insurance that provides coverage for the legal liability that arises when a person demonstrates incompetence in his or her profession. It is an insurance that is designed to provide coverage in addition to that provided by a basic liability policy. It is an insurance policy that provides both property and liability insurance for the members of a family. The answer is It is an insurance that is designed to provide coverage in addition to that provided by a basic liability policy. An umbrella insurance policy is designed to provide coverage in addition to that provided by a basic liability policy. Umbrella policies can usually only be taken out when the insured has an underlying basic liability policy. Question 10 Identify the plan which is the combination of preferred provider organization and health maintenance organization. Managed care plan. Umbrella insurance plan. Point of service plan. Blue cross plan. The answer is. Point of service plan. A point-of-service plan is a hybrid of the HMO and the PPO. These resemble HMOs for network services and PPOs for non-network services. Point-of-service plans may be either open-ended HMOs, in which is the insured has the option to visit doctors outside the network, or gatekeeper PPOs, in which the customer selects a primary care physician who is responsible for determining whether the customer needs to go outside the network for care. Question 22. Identify the types of inabilities in disability income insurance. The inability to engage in one's own occupation. The inability to engage in any occupation. The inability to engage in an occupation for which one has been trained or educated. The inability due to an injury that is not debilitating. 
The answer is 1, 2 and 3. There are four types of disability in current policies. The inability to engage in one's own occupation. The inability to engage in an occupation for which one has been trained or educated. The inability to engage in any occupation. And a reduction in income due to disability. Question 23. How are the premium and the period related to each other in long-term care policy? The premium will increase proportionally to the maximum benefit period and inversely proportional to the elimination period. The premium will decrease proportionally to the minimum benefit period and directly proportional to the elimination period. The premium will increase proportionally to the minimum benefit period and directly proportional to the elimination period. The premium will decrease proportionally to the maximum benefit period and inversely proportional to the elimination period. The answer is The premium will increase proportionally to the maximum benefit period and inversely proportional to the elimination period. The duration of a long-term care policy is influenced by the elimination period and the maximum benefit period. The premium will increase proportionally to the maximum benefit period and inversely proportional to the elimination period. Question 24. In which type of life insurance policy, the policy owner is allowed to choose the investments to which the savings element will be directed? Universal life insurance policy. Variable life insurance policy Whole life insurance policy Term insurance policy The answer is Universal life insurance policy In a variable life insurance policy, the policy owner is allowed to choose the investments to which the savings element will be directed. There is no guaranteed cash value or crediting rate in a policy of this kind. Investments will be held in separate accounts that resemble mutual funds but are classified as different. Question 10. What are the choices given to the owner who has the non-forfeiture option of a life insurance policy? The owner may want to surrender for cash. The owner may want to purchase an annuity to provide income for life or over a specified period. The owner may want to buy a reduced amount of paid up permanent. The owner may want to invest the same amount of extended term insurance. The answer is 1, 2 and 3. The non-forfeiture option of a life insurance policy gives the owner a few choices concerning how to use the policy's cash value. The owner may want to surrender for cash, that is, withdraw the cash value of the policy. Or, the owner may want to purchase an annuity to provide income for life or over a specified period. Additionally, the owner may want to buy a reduced amount of paid-up permanent insurance. This gives the owner a zero premium policy of a reduced amount. Finally, the owner may want to buy the same amount of extended term insurance. Question 26. What is the effect of positive net present value on shareholders' wealth? Decrease in shareholder wealth. Constancy in shareholder wealth. Increase in shareholder wealthy. Shareholder wealth being equal to the net present value. The answer is. Increase in shareholder wealth. Net present value, meanwhile, is the amount of cash flow, expressed in terms of present value, that a project will generate after repaying invested capital and the required rate of return on that capital. When NPV is positive, shareholder wealth increases. Question 27. What is the age group considered for the consolidation phase of life cycle? 40 to 60 years. 20 to 30 years. 30 to 40 years, 60 years and above. The answer is 40 to 60 years. In the consolidation phase, individuals will have paid off all of their loans and funded the education of their children, but will need to keep saving for retirement. Individuals are usually in the consolidation phase between the ages of 40 and 60. Question 28. Identify the functions of ECN. ECN matches orders for buyers and sellers. ECN makes the process of trading time taking and cumbersome. 
ECN facilitates trading by displaying the bid, ask prices for the securities. ECN executes transactions on behalf of the buyers and sellers. The answer is 1, 3 and 4. ECNs facilitate trading by displaying the optimal bid, ask prices for the same securities, and then automatically execute the transaction on behalf of the buyers and sellers. ECNs facilitate trading by displaying the optimal bid, ask prices for the same securities, and then automatically execute the transaction on behalf of the buyers and sellers. ECNs greatly reduce the time it takes to match orders for buyers and sellers. In addition to serving retail investors, ECNs also facilitate trading for institutional investors facilitate trading by displaying Playing the optimal bid, ask prices for the same securities, and then automatically execute the transaction on behalf of the buyers and sellers. ECNs greatly reduce the time it takes to match orders for buyers and sellers. In addition to serving retail investors, ECNs also facilitate trading for institutional investors greatly reduce the time it takes to match orders for buyers and sellers. In addition to serving retail investors, ECNs also facilitate trading for institutional investors. Question 29. Identify the types of hazards. Economic hazard. Physical hazard. Morale hazard. Moral hazard. The answer is 1, 3 and 4. There are three types of hazards. Physical hazards are physical properties, like volatility, that increase hazard. Moral hazards are qualities in individuals, like dishonesty, that increase the risk of loss. And morale hazards are the dangers that one faces by being indifferent to risk. Question 30. What are the available options for the division of business and or house in case of divorce settlement? One spouse may keep the house or business by buying out the other's interest. The business, home may be kept sealed without any proceedings. Both spouses may continue to own the business, home. The business, home may be sold and the proceeds can be divided. The answer is 1, 3 and 4. There are three available options when dividing a business and or house. One spouse may keep the house or business by buying out the other's interest. Both spouses may continue to own the business, home, or the business, home may be sold and the proceeds divide. Question 31. Identify the qualified public charities. Hospitals. Veterans organizations. Churches. Government entities. The answer is 1, 3 and 4. Qualifying public charities include churches and educational organizations, hospitals and medical research organizations, government entities, and publicly supported organizations that receive a substantial amount of support from the general public or government, like the Red Cross. Question 32. The court order instructing a trustee or administrator of a qualified retirement plan how much to pay out to the non-owner spouse after a divorce is named as Qualified Retirement Order Qualified Divorce Order Qualified Death Order Qualified Domestic Relations Order The answer is Qualified Domestic Relations Order a Qualified Domestic Relations Order QDRO, is a court order instructing a trustee or administrator of a qualified retirement plan how much to pay out to the non-owner spouse after a divorce. These orders ensure that property from a qualified retirement plan can be divided up without adversely affecting taxes. Question 33. What is the percentage of ceiling for public charities? 40%. 30%, 20%, 50%. The answer is 30%. For public charities, there is a 30% ceiling, 20% for private charities, on long-term capital gain property. Question 34. Identify the assets that may be amortized. Furniture, patents, copyrights, 
goodwill? The answer is 2, 3 and 4. An amortization is used only for intangible assets that have a definite life. Patents and copyrights are common examples of assets that may be amortized. Question 35. What are the features of alimony? It may be transferred to spouse's account. It must be made in cash. It must occur between the two parties who do not live together. It must avoid front loading. The answer is 2, 3 and 4. Alimony is a series of payments made by one spouse to another, sometimes through an intermediary. The recipient of alimony may be taxed on the alimony, while the payer may deduct it from taxes. Alimony payments must be made in cash, must occur between two parties who do not live together, and must avoid front loading. Question 36 What are the basis of child support payments? Ratio of each parent's income the percentage of time the child spends with each parent, the amount of alimony, ratio of parents' investments. The answer is 1, 2 and 3. Child support payments will be established by the courts, and will be based on a ratio of each parent's income, the percentage of time the child spends with each parent, and the amount of alimony. Question 37. At risk rules apply to estates and trusts, C corporations, S corporations, professional corporations. The answer is 1, 2, and 3. The at risk rules are set up to limit the deductible loss a taxpayer claims to the amount that the taxpayer actually risks losing. The at risk rules may apply to individuals, estates and trusts, partners, shareholders in S corporations, and most C corporations. Question 38 Who decides the child support payments? The father of the child. Court. The mother of the child the child himself the answer is court child support payments will be established by the courts and will be based on a ratio of each parent's income the percentage of time the child spends with each parent and the amount of alimony question 39 which of the below is not subjected to passive activity rules C corporations, S corporations, personal service corporations, estates and trusts. The answer is S corporations. Losses that qualify for recognition under at risk rules may also be subject to passive activity rules. Losses from passive activity may be used to offset passive activity income only. Passive activity rules may apply to individuals, estates, trusts, personal service corporations, closely held C corporations, publicly traded partnerships, and the owners of pass through entity interests. Question 40 identify the qualified private charities veterans organizations government entities fraternal orders private non-operating foundations the answer is one three and four qualifying private charities include veterans organizations fraternal orders and certain private non-operating foundations Question 41. What does DIF stand for? Discriminate Income Function Discriminate Function System Discriminate Function Science Depositors Insurance Funds The answer is Discriminate Function System the Discriminate Function System DIF, screens all of the returns and assigns them a score assessing their audit worthiness. Question 42 
When can a taxpayer file taxes as a head of household? If he was married at the end of the year. If he paid more than half of the cost of the house. If he is a U.S. citizen. If he is the resident for an entire year. The answer is 2, 3 and 4. A taxpayer can file as a head of household if he or she was not married at the end of the year, paid more than half of the cost of the house, was a U.S. citizen or resident for the entire year, if the home was the main home for one or more family members. Question 43 Identify the features of the property that is capable of depreciating Property that is used in a trade or business Property that loses its value over time. Property that is incurring loss. Property that has a lifespan of usefulness that is greater than one year. The answer is 1, 2 and 4. Property that is capable of depreciating includes property that is used in a trade or business, that is held to produce income, that loses its value over time, and that has a lifespan of usefulness that is greater than one year. Question 44. Identify the features of the kiddie tax. It applies to children under the age of 19. It applies to working adults under the age of 24. Earned income from jobs is exempted from the kiddie tax. It only affects unearned income above the annual threshold. The answer is 1, 3 and 4. The kitty tax is a series of tax rules aimed to keep parents from taking advantage of their children's lower tax rates. Basically, if your child has substantial investment income, it will be taxed at the parent's rate, not the child's. Question 45. Identify the artificial entities that are created for tax purposes. LLC C Corporation LLP S Corporation. The answer is C Corporation. C Corporations are artificial entities that are created when articles of incorporation are filed and a state issues a certificate of incorporation. Question 46 What is the punishable fine for criminal fraud for a corporation? $250,000. $100,000 $50,000 The answer is $500,000 Criminal fraud is also known as tax evasion, and it is a felony punishable by fines of up to $250,000 for an individual and $500,000 for a corporation. Question 47. What gives limited liability protection to all of its members but will still be treated as a partnership for income tax purposes? LLC S Corporation General Partnership LLP The answer is LLC a limited liability company LLC gives limited liability protection to all of its members but will still be treated as a partnership for income tax purposes. Unlike a limited liability partnership, the partners in a limited liability company are not responsible for the misdeeds of their subordinates. Question 48. What is the penalty if the preparer of the income tax return understates the amount of tax intentionally? $250. $5,000 $500 The answer is $1,000 If the preparer of an income tax return understates the amount of tax, then he or she may be hit with a $250 penalty. If the understatement is intentional, the penalty is $1,000. Question 49. A group of people that are joined together for a particular purpose are called partnership, company, 
Corporation Association The answer is Association An association is a group of people that are joined together for a particular purpose. Question 50 What are the basic requirements for the sole proprietorship? Schedule D form and personal tax form of the owner. Schedule S form and personal tax form of the owner. Schedule F form and personal tax form of the owner. Schedule C form and personal tax form of the owner. The answer is Schedule C form and personal tax form of the owner. There are no special forms required to start a sole proprietorship. The owner of one will simply file a Schedule C in addition to his or her personal tax forms.